When electric cars first showed up, they seemed like the perfect way to ditch gas and move towards a greener way of getting around, but high prices and batteries that didn't last long put a lot of people off. So the big question is, can electric cars really replace those gas cars? A little history of gas-powered cars. Our obsession with cars kicked off in 1908 when Ford started mass-producing the Model T. Cars were great for getting to work, doing deliveries, or even taking road trips. The folks who invented the gas-powered engine knew one important thing. Gasoline packs a ton of energy. That's exactly why gas-powered cars have been the norm for over a century now. Alternative power sources. For a while now, engineers have been trying to figure out different ways to power cars. One modern idea has been using hydrogen in special vehicles with hydrogen fuel cells, but hydrogen is a pain to get and transport, making it super expensive. Unless you live in one of those few countries set up for it, hydrogen fuel isn't a realistic option right now. Lots of countries have also experimented with fuels made from plants, like corn-based ethanol and biodiesel made from oils and fats. This has worked great in places like the United States and Brazil, which are big on bio fuels. The rise of electric cars. Electric cars and hybrids are finally getting the attention they deserve. In 2023, a whopping 14 million electric vehicles were expected to be sold around the world. That's almost 1.5 times what was sold the year before, even though they still make up less than 10% of all cars sold. In the United States, over half a million went home with new owners. Compared to gas, the cost of charging your car is getting more competitive. Most people already have a charging station at home, their regular power outlet. Plus, people are starting to really understand the dangers of fossil fuels. We're not just talking about the planet-wide dangers of carbon emissions, gas pollution is a serious health risk too. As people get more environmentally conscious, electric cars become the obvious choice. Electric cars have some serious perks. They're quieter, zip around faster, can be lighter, and often come with cool tech features. Early on, electric cars had a rough start. They were expensive, charging stations were rare, and the oil companies weren't too happy about them. Things have changed a lot. Nowadays, you'll see electric cars all over the place in US and in Europe, and even in China and India. Charging stations are becoming way more common, but there are still some hurdles to jump before electric cars fully replace those old gas guzzlers. The longevity of gas cars. Governments and car companies are pushing electric vehicles as the solution to climate change. But here's the thing, it's going to take a long time before we see a major drop in greenhouse gas emissions because of them. Cars last longer these days. The average car on US roads is 12 years old. Back in 2002, the average was way less. This slow turnover makes it hard for new tech to have a big impact quickly. Cars are lasting longer because they're built better due to competition from companies around the world. The green policies. Americans still buy a ton of gas power cars each year, around 17 million. Even worse, the US sends loads of old used cars to other countries where they get fixed up and keep polluting for even longer. Fixing this is going to be tough. Transportation is a huge source of the pollution that causes climate change. President Biden wants the US to be way cleaner by 2050, which means almost all those gas guzzlers need to be replaced by electric cars, and we need cleaner ways to make electricity. The key is to stop selling new gas gas-powered cars by around 2035. That would give old cars enough time to finally die off. California and General Motors are already on board with this, but it needs to be everywhere to make a real difference. The future. EVs are getting more and more popular as they become cheaper, plus the batteries are getting way better so people don't have to worry as much about running out of juice in the middle of a road trip. More people buying EVs means companies can make them even more affordable. As manufacturers get better at building them and can make them in larger quantities, the prices will keep coming down. As gas prices keep going up, EVs are looking more and more appealing. For now, most of us still need to fill up at the gas station, but better technology might mean gas-powered cars could become a thing of the past. Here's an interesting stat. Electric vehicles convert about 60% of grid electrical energy into power at the wheels while conventional gasoline cars only convert around 20% of gasoline energy. So, electric cars are roughly three times more efficient in energy utilization for propulsion. And that's it for today. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment down what you want to see next, and share this video. Subscribe to Only Cars for more informative videos like this. Peace out.